Hello and welcome back to the Criminal's official Dart Math video guide. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, to the conclusion of the checkouts themselves. The big numbers. The show finishes. Game changers. 161 through 170. Obviously, a very simple section here as there's really not too many options as far as finishing these checkouts, but of course we have to look at our key principles and it wouldn't be me if I didn't start by saying and stressing no bogeys. 162, 163, 165, 166, 168, 169, bad. You cannot check out those numbers. So you cannot leave yourself on these numbers. It happens too often. Yes, we're not going to be checking out these big finishes 50% of the time or anything crazy like that. But again, you have a 0% chance of checking out a bogey. A 0% chance. As you get better at darts, you're going to have more opportunities for these bigger checkouts. And you need to get in the habit now of leaving yourself on those finishes and avoiding the bogey numbers. We're going to have a separate video on how to help yourself avoid bogey numbers. But for now, just keep in mind, bogeys are bad. Bad numbers. Don't be on a bogey. So think when you're throwing. What is a, my next dart going to leave me? Is it a bogey? If it is, don't throw it there. Throw it somewhere else. Okay, all these finishes, of course, are triple, treble, bullseye. And then, as in the previous section, if you're hitting singles, you can use the bowl for a better tier if you're able to get it there. So, let's start with 161. Treble 20, treble 17 to the bullseye. Uh, there is also the possibility, if you really want to, of treble 19, treble 18 to the bullseye, but most players are going to start on treble 20. Again, treble 20, treble 17, bullseye. Uh, one reason I like to start on treble 20 is, as again, with the different tiers, single 20, single 20, 25, for example, or single 20, single 20, 50. Uh, will get us to a better tier, so we can switch to the bullseye on the third dart after a couple of singles. 96 is a two dart combo compared to 101. That is not. 162 is a bogey. Bad. 163 is a bogey. Bad. Let's look at 164. Again, we can aim at the same target here. That's nice. Treble 19 times 2. Oops, that's supposed to be in the bullseye. Yeah. We'll get it in there. There we go. Into the bullseye for that third dart. Uh, you also do have the option here of going the treble eight, 20, treble 18 bullseye route. Again, this is why I recommend the 19s because as you see there in red, we can use the bowl to get to a better tier. If we go single 19 on that first dart, we can move up to the 20 where another single and a 25 Scores us 64, putting us on a nice even 100. That is a two dart combo. As opposed to, say, just missing three singles. 57 score leaves us on 107. That is not a two dart combo. It requires three darts. So we can think ahead. Treble 19, treble 19, bullseye is ideal. Single 19, 20 to bullseye or bull on the third dart. Otherwise... 165, how do we do that one? You can't, it's a bogey. Same with 166. That's a bogey. Don't do it. Bad. 167, only one way to do it. Treble 20, treble 19, bullseye. That's a fun one to finish and arguably one of the most difficult checkouts there is since you have to switch. 168, bogey. Bad. 169, bogey. Bad. Bad bogey. Don't do it. And then, of course, we've got to finish our checkout series with the big boy, the fish himself. Treble 20. Treble 20. Bullseye. The biggest checkout, the big fish. Uh, very few of us are in the 170 club. I am. But that is it, guys. 
that's the entire checkout series here with the criminal. There's your 161s to 170s. Really, again, just avoid the bogeys. Use the bowl, if you can, on that third dart to unlock a lower tier for your next visit. And good luck out there. I hope you guys study these videos. Take it to heart. It'll make you a better player, I promise. See you on the hockey.